speaker of a common source amplifier. Again, I know not all of you are very familiar with this one. What I would do is first look at this. Uh, you can look at my video if you don't know what is common source amplifier. Last time we talked about common gate, right? Remember? Here we have the gate here. Here is the drain. Here is the source. The source is grounded. That's why it's called common source. The input is to the gate. The output is at the drain. Make sense? So if I draw the small signal model, this one you need to practice, right? I, I try to go slowly. It is like this. VG, and this is GM, VGS, right? And I also need to add a resistor here. This is the transistor model. Are you all familiar with this? If not, we're ready to go back and draw it. You all, you will be too late. Okay? Just keep practicing, right? Follow my slides and my other videos in E124. You need to spend time on this, right? So this is the gate. This is drain. This is source. Now, but we, what we are talking about is the, we are we try to understand the noise, right? So now the input is connected to a voltage source, but this voltage source, it is not drawn here. It must have a source impedance. And then we in, right? Although it's not drawn here, it just take the input to here. But whenever you connect a, 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 a source to it, it's RF, we're talking about RF. Right? It must have an output impedance. And here, let's say we decide to 50 ohm. Okay? This is the first thing, right? And then, how about what type of noise do we have for a transistor? Can you speak up? You. <laughs> I thought you were talking, no? Okay. Uh, we have two white noise actually, right? What are the two? Gate resistant noise and and the and the source to drain. Yeah, correct. Which is I n square, right? Do you remember the equation? Four k t, always four k t, right? Because it's white noise, right? Times g m. Gamma. Gamma GM. Sorry, I should say gamma GM. Yeah, right. Should. It would be better to say gamma GM because that's what we learn. Good. And you say the gate noise, I, I would say a well-designed transistor, we can ignore it, right? So in the exam, unless I say you need to add the gate resistant noise, you can ignore it also. Here, we will also ignore thicker noise to save our time, right? So I only have one noise here. So now you see that, right? I have input noise from here. I also have the uh, transistor noise. And this is the input noise, right? Uh, I have not drawn it yet. But here I do have a, a noise due to this transistor, due to this amplifier. And my goal is to find out what is the Vn of this one. Now since so what I'm going, I want to find the Vn square due to the amplifier. What do I mean by Vn square? I'm referring to this one. Your noise is inside this circuit. I want to put it into the output. Then I claim this is noiseless. And then I can use the equation I, that I have learned to find out the noise figure. Okay. So what do I do? Because I'm finding the noise, I will just short the input, right? So this is the new circuit that I have. RS, and this is going to the gate. GM, VGS. This plus minus VGS, and this is the source. I have R0, which is also grounded, and then I have IN squared. 
Are you okay? Uh, this is very important. Are you okay with this circuit with FED tail I've drawn here? Because the source is grounded, right? So R0, these are all grounded. They just form a loop. But now I ground the input. What is VGS? Zero. I ground the input, right? Gain is grounded, source is grounded. So this is zero. Then what is GMVGS? Also zero. What is the meaning of zero for a current source? Zero current means it's open circuit. Then things becomes very easy. My goal is to know what is the V n square at this point, right? The current is going to go in this direction. All my i n square will go through r zero. Nowhere, nowhere else it can go, right? So as a result, let me call this one, this two, and then three. Then I know v n square equals to what? Can someone tell me how is it related to i n square? Say again, R zero square. Yeah? Current times resistance equal to the voltage. Right? We, now we don't care about the direction because we are talking about the power, we're going to square it. Just like here. When we talk about the voltage divider, we have the ratio of alpha, but then when we talk about the power due to this alpha, we square the alpha, right? Here, Current I times R zero is going to be plus minus V N. But we're talking about power, so I N square, R zero square equal to V N square. Make sense? I need to make sure that you understand because we keep seeing this and in the exam and also in the project you need to prove it. Any questions? Okay, good. So if no question, I'm done with this term. So what is the noise figure? The noise, uh, but I need to find a few more things. What is alpha in this case? Let's go back to the equation. Alpha is what? Z in divided by Z in plus Rs, right? Why? No, Rs is here. It can be 50 ohm. Very good. No current going through. Why there's no current going through? Then what is Z in for an open circuit? Infinity. Exactly. Now, so this is a lot, little bit contradictory. You say, is it is Rf? How come there's no capacitor? But we're just talking about the case that the frequency is still low enough that it is almost infinity, large enough. So this is approximately equal to one. Now in reality, you might not, you need to calculate, right? But this can be, let's say 1000 compared to 50, maybe it's still close to one, right? So alpha is approximately equal to one. What is AV, do you know? What is the gain of a common source amplifier? This one, I, it's okay. GM, RO, that was common uh, gate. Yeah, GM, RO, you should come, you should GM, RO. So I challenge you to, if you have not taken E124, you have not tried that bit before, go back to prove the gain to be negative GM, R zero. You need to practice, really. I, I have that in my 124 video also. Okay, if you don't know how to prove it, prove it. And come, come to me if you have questions, okay? This is the gain of the circuit. So it means the noise figure equals to one plus V n squared. We already know already, right? It is here. 4 k t gamma g m r zero squared. This is the output voltage noise generated by this amplifier. 
okay so i'm going to put this 4 kt gamma gml zero square here but then what is the alpha we say is about one square what is the gain gm square r zero square right because av square is av is gm r zero then i need to normalize it to the source impedance which is 4 kt rs so as a result it's difficult to see the noise figure is one plus you're going to cancel 4 kt cancel r zero square and then cancel gm you get one plus gamma divided by gm rs let me check my cheat sheet yeah so this is the noise figure of a common source amplifier. Based on this, you can tell people, what well, if I know the signal to noise ratio of the input, I will be able to get the signal to noise ratio at the output by dividing the input by this noise figure. True, the number of course depends on Rs, but it doesn't matter, right? Because the signal to noise in, uh, in the input has the RS also. So they kind of, uh, I mean, that determines the total noise at the output. Okay, any questions? I, I got gone through very slowly, but I hope that you understand. I will pause for half minutes, right? Think about it. You see, we use a lot of circuit techniques, so, and the rest is just squaring them for the noise. So that's why it's important that you are able to derive the gain, understand how this works. Any questions? Okay. So I did not use this one. Yeah. Say again. We and why don't we remove we and this one? Which one? This we and? This one? There's no, oh, we in, oh, I see, I see. I see. Uh, no, because we're talking about the noise, this is just the input voltage. So we were studying the noise because they are small signal, right? So we can just short others. Now we are not interested in the input voltage, so we just grind it. Uh, when I grind it, it means we in equal to zero. So if we in equal zero, just just mean that this is grounded, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Any other questions? Okay, so we are done with this simple example, and now we go to a cascade stage. Like what? I